Good day to you, listening audience. So, I want to talk to you about bait site marketing. I call it bait site because you're using one site to get traffic to another site. So here's how it works. You have a, oh, let's say, uh, let's use one of my current examples. We've got a real estate client whose name is Rick Stonehouse. Now he sells property in Strathcona, which is a neighborhood in Vancouver. And uh, so when you type in Strathcona properties or homes or live in Strathcona or something like that into Google, uh, you're never gonna find his site. Because rickstonehouse.com just doesn't place well in the search engines for the term Strathcona. So we went out and registered liveinstrathcona.com and now guess what pops up when you type live in Strathcona into the search engine? Well, we're number one. <clears throat> that wasn't very hard. Uh, now obviously that isn't the most highly searched search term, so you do have to do some SEO work to, uh, to place, but by starting with a domain name that has the keywords that you're trying to place well for in the domain name, you're going to place a lot better than you will for, you know, Harold's Mechanical when you're a plumber. Harold's Plumbing Company would probably place you a lot better. Uh, so anyway, you create mini websites that essentially are ads or are pulling content from your main website that you're trying to rank better. So let's use Rick Stonehouse for example. Liveinstrathcona.com has information about Strathcona, schools, local uh, business information, and uh, a blog on the community, a forum to discuss issues related to the community, and a listing section that shows all of the properties that are available for sale. Now, when you click on one of those properties for sale, you go back to rickstonehouse.com. Same thing with the blog entries. Uh, Rick Stonehouse is one of the blogs that is featured on the Live in Strathcona website. So by getting Live in Strathcona to rank well on the search engines for the term Strathcona, we're also at the same time, because all of the content for that site is being fed from, or not all of it, but a good portion of it is being fed from rickstonehouse.com, we're elevating the relevancy and page rank of rickstonehouse.com at the same time as we're placing well with Live in Strathcona. So what is the overall outcome? Uh, more traffic to rickstonehouse.com through Live in Strathcona and therefore more revenue for Rick as each uh, lead generates a sale or, or uh, a listing for him. Uh, those are big commission checks to be getting off better internet placement. <clears throat> so how could a bait site work for your business? Well, if there's a product that you sell, let's say silver necklaces, go see if you can get silvernecklaces.info or .org or one of the, you probably won't get it for the .com, but there will still be lots of available uh, domains, and if not, maybe it's uh, Vancouver Silversmith or something a little more specific that, uh, that would place you well for your keyword searches and, uh, and act as landing pages essentially to drive traffic into your main website which might not play so well for Vancouver Silversmiths if it's Dustin Designs or something like that. Um, so anyway, yeah, there's Bait Site Marketing 101 for you. And uh, check out baitsites.com because we're uh, going to be putting up some of those examples on the website and uh, give you a little bit better of an idea of how to do that for yourself. Thanks again.